So single factor authentication is where you have, well, one form of authentication to prove that you are who you say you are. The best example of this is that you navigate to a website, you put in your password and you're let in. A single password fits in the something you know category. So two factor takes things up a notch with, you guessed it, two forms of authentication. Whoa, 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 I don't want any trouble now. You've been, you've been the big leagues now, boy. So two factor, also called dual factor authentication, is the most widely used today. For example, if you take something you know, like a password, combine it with a pop-up notification sent to your phone, which would be something that you have because it's a physical device, then that gives you dual factor authentication. So multi-factor is the logical next step, which gets us to the most secure point because it uses two or more factors to secure a device or system. So best example would be you put in a password, a one-time code gets sent to your phone, and you use a fingerprint scanner. Jeez, you in the government or something? CIA, FBI? 